Hello everybody and welcome back to Cosmic Gaming for Fallout 4 Survival Mode Part 2. Let's go ahead and get a drink of water. We are a little thirsty. As you can see, everyone's finally made it here to Sanctuary. I should be able to get rid of our hydration. and I, We just need to find Preston Garvey so we can finish off that last quest. There he is. Preston. Preston. Hey there. Hey, good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Miniman out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual, raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. By the way, if you want to help. Yes, yes, we'll go talk to Sturgis. And that should have put me toward County Crossing, I believe. Oh, we also do have a level up I did not know about. Our Templine's buff, not County Crossing. Let's see, level five, what do I want? Oh, Sneak 2's already available. That's not for level 17. We are going to transition to rifles at some point, so I don't actually want to take that just yet. Uh, demo expert's really tempting, but I don't think I'm going to take Idio Savant. There we go. Help us level up a, just a little bit faster. Uh, the only thing we're not going to be able to do with Sturges is uh, plant more foods. You need to go get that from probably Abernathy, I think, is the closest place. Sturges. Hey, Sturges. Uh, hey. Do you have a mo No, I'm talking to Sturgis. And Sturgis just walked right through a table. Some work. Yes. I love work. I can sit and watch it all day. Well, for starters, we could... Mm -hmm. You I should already have help. that. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep. There's a workbench over there. Yep, yep, yep. This should be done. Hey, Sturgis. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. That should be done, too. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. Great. Thanks again. Hey, Sturgis. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're going to settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. This is the one I won't be able to do. I'll, start I'll get it started. Right Good deal. All right, so let's head over to Abernathy to go ahead and grab some crops. They got a large supply of potatoes that we're just going to take from there and plant here. But we are hungry. I should have some food in my inventory. Yep, let's eat two grilled rad roaches and we are back up to full. It is such a misty day. What the heck? Can't see anything. Oop, there's some bloat flies. All right, one's down. It might be another one. Yep. Not a good shot in vats. We'll see if we can just take it out. Okay, now that should be a better shot in vats. 50-50. Oh, not the legs. Let's do it. Come on, get them. Nice. And there's Abernathy right there. That's really simple and easy to get to. Now let's just go in here and pick all their taters after we talk That's to enough, Blake. Stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. That's fine. I'm friendly. It's okay, I'm friendly. 
Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned, we're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it, spent watching your back. Farming's hard work. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy, you new to the Commonwealth? Well, sort of. Yes. And no. It's a long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? Did uh, no. Dirt all day? No thanks. You're probably a wiser man than me, then. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Sounds like bad news to me. You really are new to these parts. Best armed bastards in the Commonwealth. You That's not they true. Want, they won't hesitate to take. Last time Maybe the gunners. Out, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to him. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old. And they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. Why don't I ask him about the Minutemen? You, know him, you mean Preston Any Garvey's idea why crew? they haven't been around so much lately? He's over in Sanctuary, trying to rebuild the Minutemen. You don't say. That's close by. If he'd only been there earlier, Mary may still be alive. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. I'll get it back for you, don't worry. I'll get that locket back for you. Good. Connie feels like it's a part of Mary. I don't think she'll rest easy again as long as it's gone. That'll mark that on our map. And wow, the very foggy day is now turned into a very rainy day. Let's go ahead and just steal all their potatoes to plant back in Sanctuary Hills. Although we're not going to head right back to Sanctuary just yet. There's some other things I want to take care of. Like right over here should be Wicked Shipping Fleet Lockup. I'm going to go in there, get the key... There's several different wicked shipping trailers out on the road, and that's just free loot as you get there. Should be a break in the fence right over here. Let's go ahead and go into uh, sneaky mode. We are level 6. Go ahead and level up. And I do want to get sneak 2. We no longer trigger floor-based traps, which is going to be good. Alright, we took that guy out. Head into here, you are already dead. Toolbox, just grab all the junk. I'm not gonna bother getting the Protectron on side. Uh, it's a roamer already, wow. Um, okay, torsos. Okay, he's weirdly blocked. Now do it, 95% hits to hit, let's do it. Okay, we're good. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Turn light. Uh, floating. I can't even grab this. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna leave that alone. And there'll be another... Uh, yeah. One more shot, he should be down. Perfect. Alright, that's all we need. And then we need to get the key from the office. It should be right around here, isn't it? Yep, there's the office. Open that up. Uh, here we go. We got the Wiccan ship. There we go. Trailer and Grognock the Barbarian. And then Death Fan. There we go. All right. We can open up this trailer right here with the key. Somehow it's foggy in the trailer already. There we go. Right away, which I would never use unless it's a real emergency situation. Ooh, that was grenades. Yep, we'll take that and take that. Okay. And that's it for this location. Is that... That's what I'm looking for right there. Perfect. I'm right, gonna get into sneak mode. Actually, let me pull out... A, uh, pipe bolt action sniper. There's okay, it's raiders. Oh, 
One raider down. Two raiders down. There should be just one more. They still have no idea where I'm at. Three raiders down. Perfect. All right, there we go. Shotgun shells. Ooh. Do I want? Yeah, I'm gonna pick up the leather armor. I can break that down for well, leather. She might have fallen off. She was standing up here. Yeah, her body must have fallen off. We're not gonna go down there and just recover a raider's body. But anyway, this gets us where we were trying to go, which is the Sunshine Tiding Co-op, where there's a Wasteland Survival Guide here for double meat, which is essential in survival mode. It's gonna it helps me really go from going hungry, really. We just have to clear this place out. There's a rad roach right there. Anybody else? Nope, let's take the meat. I'm actually gonna just, I think it's that house or it's that house. Let's see if I can try to get the book first before clearing the rest of this place out. So if there's any more rad roaches, we can get double rad roach meat. Nope, it's not this house, it must be that one. Yep, it's this one. I back up, the ghouls are gonna come out. Uh, yep, let's just go ahead and critical you. Get one of them down. The other one's not coming out. That's fine. Let's go ahead and throw in a... Yep, we already have it set. There he is. That should take care of him. Perfect. And yep, take all of that. And grab the Wasteland Survival Guide. Now everything we have is going to have double meats on it. Ooh, that was a stealth boy. That's nice. Pipe revolver rifle. That's also nice. Grab that. That's just a dinner for... Ooh, and a cap stash. Don't forget that. Another 22 caps. Not... Nothing. Alright, now let's go ahead and clear out the rest of this settlement. That way it's safe. We can make it part of the Minutemen, minute but I'm not going to actually do anything to it for the moment. Although we will come back here later on. It's already beds. Good. I believe there's more rad roaches around here, too. Open this novice locked door. Or just break a bobby pin. Perfect. We're in. Ooh, a first legendary right here. Legendary rad roach. First legendary of the run. What is he going to be? A cryogenic raider left leg. That is awful. Yep, we won't even be wearing that. That's just going to be sold. All right, let's just ransack this place until we're out of carry capacity. Just like a right away, it's just kind of going to be sold. Stim packs kind of too, but we got to keep a little bit of stim packs on hand just in case of limb damage. Oh, I miss. Come on. Oh my gosh, okay. Just use vats. There should be another one. Oh god. Headshots, 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 headshots. There you go. Come on, take him out. Alright, we're good. We managed to get away without getting hit. Yep, this place is completely clear, which is perfect. I'm not going to spend any time here, though. That was just mainly to check that the place was cleared. It's, we should be able to cook a rad roach roast or whatever, grilled rad roach course are we going to be able to build a water pump because i could actually use some water i think there's a i think there's some cinder blocks or something around here let me just see if i can build water pump i need one concrete okay well, let's go see if i can find one concrete around here perfect i found some cinder blocks back here i thought there was some here and let's just go ahead and place down this water pump Let's put it, like, right there. And now let's just go ahead and drink from it. And get our hydration back without wasting any of our purified water stores. 
All right, back to properly hydrated. We can get a move on. Now, where are we going? Let's go ahead and remove that marker. Now, I want to go just south of Concord, probably around right here. It's, yeah, like probably around right there should be uh, Drumlin Diner. And I do want to visit there. There'll be a few, uh, like, little Wolfgang Raiders there, which we're just going to go ahead and toss some Molotov right in them, or maybe a... Maybe a frag grenade. Let's go ahead and set frag grenades, because I have four of them now. That's 100 more damage. Those guys can be tough in the early game. Especially on survival mode, because they hit really hard. Actually, I am here at Walden Pond. Now, this place should be decently safe, because I can no longer trigger traps. And there is a bunch of traps in here, so be careful if you don't actually have Sneak 2 yet. Like, there is a bomb right there. But this has got some decent little loot in here for, like, screws and circuitry and stuff. A hot plate. Ceramic. I don't know why that exploded, but I'm glad I wasn't right there. No one likes you. I wonder if that was the trigger. Okay, there should be... Like a pipe or something to enter, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh, is it not this one? Yep, yeah, here we go. Drainage pipe. There'll be a couple raiders down here, but it's nothing we can't handle. Our trusty 10 millimeter, and if I need to, I can. Yeah, actually, just pull up my sniper. So this guy made sure he had everything he needed before he started his camping trip in that little shack. Too close. Too close. Too close. This list and everything, and that's why they call it being the. Go into vats. Headshot tweez. He's throwing a Molotov. Oh, yes, I stopped him. Perfect. Oh, come on, just hit tweez. Yep, just one shot, take out bear. Alright, took a little knock there, but nothing too bad at all. Take, gladly take a Molotov cocktail that you almost threw at my face. Uh, we could save, but I don't really need to. I'm not taking the hunting rifle. I think we have one of those back at base. And then there is yes. a Tales of a Junktown jerky, jerky vendor down here. Perfect. I wasn't actually planning on coming down here, but since we walked right past, oh, there's, there's right, there's some more in here. You know what? There we go. Ooh, and Katavio Savannah off of that. Perfect. Gift shop key. Uh, there we go. Mm, quick calibrated pipe rifle. I don't want to carry that around, actually, so we're just going to leave that there. Braxo cleaner. Nice. There is some very good loot in here. And if you're a melee character, there is a unique melee weapon right here, which is kind of glitched through the shelf or whatever the big gym a uh, crippling pipe wrench it's not bad crippling is always nice Ooh, and some volt tech lunch boxes Ooh, a century bot model nice and now i'm carrying too much i can't run okay well we'll sort that out in just a second all right drop some junk that should give us a couple extra spare capacity just drop some useless junk and then the um what was it the gas canisters that weigh three each Let's get us back into the gift shop, and then we can leave this location. There's some gunshots going on in the distance, but I found myself a rag sack. These things are great. Let's go ahead and take it out. Oh, what? That didn't take it out? Oh, no. We'll finish it off with a pipe pistol here. Come on. I want your meat. Thank you. Here we go. Be careful. Yep. We'll take the hide. We'll leave the cue ball. That's gunners right there. So we need to be very careful. Let's go back up the road. And the fog has cleared. Oh, and we're hungry. 
All right, here we are at Drumlin Diner. Let me see if I can get a bead on these guys without them seeing me. Oh yeah, I'm hidden. Look at this. Don't even need a grenade. One down. Ooh. She's investigating. Oh, she sees me. Wow, you moved at the right second, Simone. Oh, you're tough. Something. Ooh, no, 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 no. Let's get some healing on right now. Do I have a? Took one hit, like all my health. Oh crap! What do I have to heal? I don't have much. Um, yeah, we just have to use some stem packs and some purified water. Run, 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 run past Carla. Okay, danger's fading. She's not following me. Wow, that was close. Okay. Let's just, let's just use my rifle. And she's dead. Oh, man, that was, that was way closer than comfort. We almost lost all our progress. I, I'm surprised I did so little damage. I should have... I have plus 20%... Damage from adrenaline. Oh, so I was expecting to do way more damage to her, but my god, she almost killed me in one shot. Trudy. <clears throat> <laughs> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Nice. Sure. Let's barter. Let's take a look. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. And we leveled up. Perfect. Yeah, we'll take all your 308 rounds. Let me see what you have. General Cow's Revenge, if you're a melee character, great place to get it. And that's what I came here for. Suppressed pipe bolt action pistol. She always seems to have it, and that is perfect. That'll suppress our sniper rifle. And we can just pay for it by selling, like, all our ammo there. Actually, I don't even need to sell that ammo because I'm kind of using that ammo. We can use it doing just the 5.56 five, and gain some money back. You only need to do... Oh, and then we can sell her some... Oh, yeah. Give me to my ammo. Yeah, we can sell her the shotgun shells as well. Do I want to grab the 45 rounds? No, I have 76 of those. That's fine. All right, yep, let's accept that. Unless she has something in her apparel that I need. Doesn't look like it's anything good. Except for sunglasses, but I have the eyeglasses, so it's pretty much the same thing. And then that's, yeah, no, we're fine. Confirm the trade, and then let's go talk to Carla, actually. I have no idea where the other person died, Simone. Oh, there she is. Perfect, that's exactly, ooh. Metal right arm. Let's take that. See what that looks like compared to what I'm using. Metal right. Yep, let's do that. Now we're going to talk to Carla real quick and then we'll head back to Sanctuary Hills and complete our little loop here. Dump the garbage I picked up and then have a nice save. Hello, Carla. Um. So, what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City. Now, anytime you talk to her for the first time, always do the sarcastic Just response. Love, sweetheart. <laughs> Boy, have you come to the wrong place. My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, wise ass. You made an old girl smile, and that ain't easy. You want to do some trading? I'll give you a discount. I yes, and if you do that, you get a discount with True or with Carla for the entirety of the game. Um, what do you have on you that might be good? Nothing really right now, but I will take some 308 rounds because those are kind of rare, and I will trade you some ammo of my own that I don't want. Yeah, I think I'm not even gonna bother so much with the pipe pistol anymore 10 millimeter will be my mainstay for a minute actually i picked up a revolver rifle that might even be my mainstay and then i have plenty of ammo for 
my sniper now as well. So, yep, we'll do that. And 38 ammo, or 0.38 ammo is really easy to come by. And I'll see you all at Sanctuary Hills. Okay, back at Sanctuary Hills. First thing I'm going to do is actually uh, get that stuff done and planted for Sturges. We can turn in that quest. First, I need to pick up all of this. So, yeah, store that. Store that. Yep, we're going to store the gourd you're working on as well. But not to worry, everybody. I hope you like Tato's. I'm going to plant a whole field of Tato's. Mar Mar Marcy, you're standing right in the way of my line of Tato's. You know what? That's fine. Let's just tell you hey, to work Tato's. Getting along just fine. It's nice to finally settle down after spending so much time moving There we go. Around. Oh, yeah? That should be enough for Sturges. Now he's going to want defenses. Put a scavenging station up there. Mama Murphy, you're going to be scavenging. Okay, defenses, turrets. We're going to build one big machine gun turret right here. Actually, I'm going to actually build it up on stilts like I did at Red Rocket. That way it gets a better field of fire. Yeah, there we go. And then put that there. And then go ahead and grab our heavy machine gun turret. There we go. That should be enough defense to turn into Sturges when we're done doing what we're doing. Okay. And now I want to go to the armor workbench and go... Oh, I forgot to sell that cryogenic radar. That's fine. And let's just scrap all these... Yep. Oop, no, no. Keep scrapping. We have extras. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and... Actually, let's not modify our armor. I actually want to modify my weapons more. Uh, where did I put the weapon workbench? Oh, right behind me. Here we go. Okay, so this is standard, 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 and yeah, this is just better. And so we're going to scrap our original 10mm, and then we're going to have the glow side of calibrated 10mm. Can I change that calibrated receiver to, like, powerful? I could, but I'm not going to. So we're not going to be using 10 millimeter forever, so that'll be fine. Pipe, bolt action, sniper rifle. Long ported. Oh, wait, that's the pipe pistol. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and just take the suppressor off this. And we're going to just get rid of the pole action pistol, but we'll do that in a second. All right, let's get the suppressor put onto that. And we're going to be using this thing for a while, so let's go ahead and do powerful damage. That's doing 61 damage a shot. Do I want long ported? Yeah, we'll do long ported barrel. Medium scope, standard stock. Mm. Is that worth all... No, that's, not, that's not worth my rest of adhesive. Okay. There's just other changes I want to make. Uh, yeah, we're going to do revolver rifle. Get rid of that. Revolver rifle. Okay, so now I want to put this up to... Yeah, hardened receiver. And that's going to take the rest of my adhesive to do that. Can I put on glow sets? Oh, I can. I want to, want to do reflex, but... Yeah, you know what? We won't, we won't change that. Okay. See if there's any changes I can make to my armor with just the one adhesive I have. Uh, let's... Can we do you can make that painted don't actually want to could go up to gilded but yeah we just need we're just gonna leave that as it is for now okay my weapon lineup now is that's being held to sell we got the glow sided calibrated 10 millimeter pistol we got the hardened pipe revolver rifle a short laser muskets for emergencies which I might not hold that very long because that's 12 weight. And then the suppressed pipe bolt action sniper rifle. 
We're going to do the level up. I was going to take Ninja, but now that I'm transferred a lot of things over to Rifle, I'm going to go ahead and take Rifleman. So now instead of 61 damage, it's now going to do 73 damage. The Hardened, snipe, or hardened Pipe Rifle. Yeah, the Revolver Rifle goes from 36 to 43. And then the Laser Musket from 36 to 43 as well. Okay. And then we got to just go take a quick nap. Talk to Sturges. And then we can set off. Oh, also, just, you know, put down all the junk I've been carrying. So, transfer, store all junk. Sit down to a respectable weight. Now this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we... What we need is the... Mm-hmm. I'm on it. Ah, Perfect. Thanks. It'll make everyone... Uh-huh. Yep, I'm on it. Sturgis. We should already have enough defenses that. built. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some Talk to him again. It's been a long road, but yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Glad to help. Perfect. Sanctuary XP dump. Now let's go home, take a nap before setting off on the next portion of our adventure. Something Carla, hi. Long from here. Yes, actually. A few minutes to browse. You break it, you buy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. I actually just want to give you big gem and that cryogenic radiator. Yeah, oh, it's only worth sixty-two. Oh, I probably shouldn't even have picked those up. Do you happen to have any? Like Wonder Glue or Duct Tape. Oh yeah, you have three Duct Tape. Wonder Glue, Wonder Glue. Let's see, nope, that's all you have. Oh well, we got some adhesive, we can make some changes to our armor. And then we'll deal with the water situation. I might just build a, I don't know why I put the water thing over there. Let's just build another one. Perfect, now let's just drink up to full hydration. There we go, properly hydrated. Now we can make some changes to my armor. Metal can go up to... Hang on. Where's my chest piece? Yes. Yep, I can put two pieces up to girdered, so we'll do that. And then we'll do, can I put two still up to painted? And see, instead of turning from 7 to 3 to 8 to 4. And then if I do the other arm instead, where's the left? Oh, it's already on there. If I do the left leg, then I could... Ooh, I could do... Yeah. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have the leather. Ah, oh, dang. Well, do you need leather to go up to paint it? No. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, so we're a little bit tougher now. Perfect. I know we're tired, but we are just going to push on. We're going to try to make it to Templine's Bluff, and then we'll go to kind of head back toward Corvega, maybe, or maybe we'll come back to Sanctuary, depending on what we pick up along the route. Um, There is a dog over there. Let's go to my rifle. I could use his meat. And he's down. Okay. We're going to be approaching some mole rat territory and some raiders up on here. And if we stay a little too close to the shoreline walks, we'll actually come across mire lurks, which there's no way I'm going to be fighting mire lurks right now. But there is a reason I want to stay close to the shore for just a. St Ooh. Hi. There you go. Yeah, rags to hag meat and hide. That's exactly what I wanted to see. But the reason we are sticking down close to the shore is a lot of you may know there's like a vacuum thing down here, and if you turn it off, you'll be able to get some caps, some free cap stashes. We just gotta be careful of my looks. I don't see any right now, so we should be fine. Here it is. Water pump station or something. 
Flip that circuit breaker and then go up the hill. And that's what we're looking for. Open up the lid and three cap stashes fall out. Look at all of them, yeah. And you come over here, you can get a stub nose 44 pretty early in the game. Bobby pins, oh, take the aluminum can. Bobby pin again. Leave the sunglasses. And there's pork and beans there too if you want. Okay, there is some mole rats over there. So let's see if we can get out of this without fighting the mole rats. Don't like them. Took out the dog. Take out the raider. Take out the other raider. Gosh, suppressed weapons are awesome. And then we could take out the last raider. Whoa. Y'all saw that, right? That was like a laser blast or something. Okay, well, we're in hidden. Let's just get out of here. That's our destination right there. The Revere Satellite Array, I think is what it's called. Um, you could go up there. There's the junkyard that has the fat man and a mini loot and a sentry bot that you can actually use to get on side to go to the satellite array. But I find he very rarely actually makes it there. He gets there like halfway and then turns around and goes home. So I won't be doing that. I might hit that back up on the way back to Sanctuary just because there's a hot rodder magazine in there. With the red flames and there's a couple like fusion cores or something. Some good loot in there, but I don't want to have to drop it later on, so I might come back for it. It's just right up that road there. Down Vertibird with the Ragstag there actually has a partial set of power armor available if you want to get power armor before you get to uh, Museum of Freedom. All the Ragstags today. Their meat is valuable. Grilled rag stags were 25 carry weight, which is essential in survival mode. Uh, another one? Okay. No, no, not the, not the legs, the torso. Be fine. Oh, I should have just been in stealthy mode. That's fine. Come on, whenever you want to fire. And a level up night. Ooh, a military good duct tape. Perfect. So you can come here, and it's a partial set of T-45 armor. Alright, let's do that level up, because I need ninja now. Got Rifleman 1, now we're going to take ninja 1. There we go, we should be doing 2.5 times for sneak attack damage now. There is a bloat fly there, I want to get eyes on a raider though. It's usually one up top. I think the blowfly might actually be distracting him at the moment. Yeah, the blowfly is going up there to attack him. And the blowfly is down. He's got a shotgun, looks like. Now, there is some mole rats, usually on the other side, that have mines strapped to them, so be careful. Perfect. Raider's down. We got to get the dog. The dog will actually find you out. Don't know where the dog went. Though there's... There's the mole rat, actually, in question, with the mines, so let's take him out. Now we don't have to worry about him. The attack dog, perfect. Oh. What in the... Oh. 95, 7. Perfect, got him. Mongo dog meat. Alright, so now they're taking the mine mole rat out of play. I feel a lot better about what's going on here. Oh, it's Satellite Station Olivia, not Revere Satellite. Maybe Revere's the one over near Fort Hagen. Okay, can we sleep? Nope, there's still enemies. Okay, so there's still at least one left. I think they're inside the bunker. Yep, there they are. I don't know why you'd put your back to a window, but... You know, you do use, dude. There'll be some raiders upstairs, downstairs, and then there'll be a named raider called Ak Ak with a minigun. We have to be careful of her. Now, I could walk straight through this with Sneak 2. May as well disarm it for fiber optics and crystal. Uh, here we go. Coffee cup, battery clipboard. Don't even worry about that because we'll get the key downstairs. Okay. Now, there's still be somebody roaming the upstairs. 
Yep, here she is right now. Oh, wow, okay. Take him out. Nobody heard a thing. Perfect. There should be some more upstairs, too. I need to get eyes on. Don't see anything. Could be in this hallway, then. Oh. Okay, we're still... We're still sneak. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, we're still good. Okay, I think that's everybody upstairs. That's everybody I was thinking of for upstairs. Let's see if there's any loot in here. Nope. Stim packing around away. Not terrible, but not stuff I actually want to use unless absolutely necessary. Okay, now that's where the raiders are downstairs. Let's see if I can get a shot from over here. Nobody knows I'm here, which is great. Oh, 308 rounds. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, I can get somebody. Come on, somebody else come to this door. Another one down. Make sure nobody's coming through any of the doors. Nope. Ooh. All right, they found us. I do not need ACAC shooting at me with the minigun, so time to relocate. They shouldn't be able to, you know, track us for very long. Playing games with me, huh? Yeah, see, they've already lost me. Just reposition. I probably stayed firing too many shots in that one area. So all you gotta do is reposition. Okay, so it sounds like she's on this side of the wall. Let me check that side. Yep, there she is. Ta no, no. There we go. Just gonna crit her. Alright. I think that's everybody. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, we have the leather armor. I know I missed one upstairs, but I was really trying not to get shot by Akak. Stimpack? No, we will not be picking up the minigun. That thing's heavy. Uh, a pack of cigarettes and all the good stuff. And then there's a fusion core over here. Make sure you grab that. I am thirsty from lack of water. I'll deal with that later. In fact, because um, Parched actually uh, lowers your intelligence, which means Idios Savant will probably trigger more often, which is just fine by me. And then there's a Volt Tech launch box. Don't forget that. Plastic spoon. All right, well... Better than nothing, I suppose. Here's the first raider we took out. Nice. Get a shotgun and some... Don't forget the leather armor. Um, Anything else I want? Obviously, I want the desk fan. And then if you're going for just the quest, this is as far as you have to go. Right here to this toolbox here. The locket will be in there. But if you come into here, you can get that armory key... And you could get a bunch of rad roaches, so pretty easy to take out. You might even get a legendary for lucky. Sweet. I'm not gonna waste this ammo on rad roaches, so. No, no, cycle target. I want the one on the wall. Thank you. Oh, I thought we were about to freeze. Okay, and let's take out this rad roach. Oh, two more back there. Okay, we're still not done. There's another one there, and another one there. Alright, we're done for the second. And there's one that's going to pop out of hiding later. But seriously, that's so much free meat. Easy, easy meat and XP. And there's gonna be one that pops out of the skeleton. And that's it. I've also find legendaries here, but on this case, there wasn't one. And then there's the Intel room key, and that's all we need. Oh, yeah, sure, I'll take that. Explosives. No, just a wooden crate, but you might contain some explosives, so let's get that out of here.
Almost. Almost. No. There we go. That's it. Ah, oh, Molotov, not bad. And that's everything to do here. So now we just gotta leave this location. And we can report back to Abernathy Farm later. Don't forget about that. Oh, and here's a teddy bear in an army hat with a with a cigar in his mouth. Lovely. All right. Um, let's take care of being parched now. Just one purified water. We should be good. And then let's go into the intel room, please. There is a mini nuke here, but no way am I taking that. Desk fan, Nuka Cola, Nuka Cola. 308 rounds. Nice. Oh, a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, globe. Oh, yeah. There's also another safe back here. Don't forget this little duffel bag here. Get some good stuff. And then let's go ahead and open this safe. There we go, finally got it. Sweet. And yep, 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 leave the 10mm pistol. Now the other reason I really wanted to risk coming in here is for the covert operations manual, obviously. <clears throat> More difficult to detect by sneaking. That is essential. All right, turn the light off and let's go up. Probably dark outside now. And then we'll make our way to Templine's buff. It is very, very, visibility is very poor. It's kind of storming out here. Wow. This is going to suck, trying to make my way through here, and there should be actually an area coming up that's got a whole bunch of mongrels in it, which I could love to take out for the meat, but it's also a pretty dangerous one, so we'll have to just take a look when we get there. Although it's going to be hard to see where I'm going in this storm. Come on. There it is. That's the dangerous one. Do I have a... I don't have a crit either. I almost have a crit. Let's stop here. Because I can't see it, but Vats can. He's over the hill. Let me take on some smaller ones here. I can't see anything. What the heck? Like, he's right there. I'll just rely on Vats, because I can't see manually. I hit the the alpha. A two percent chance, yeah, sure, we'll shoot you. There's the uh, eighty-five. Okay. Ooh, wow, miss. Oh, I don't have the action points. I don't know if he knows where I'm at or not. He does not. Oh, that's another one. Oh, there's more dogs here than I thought. I don't know where the alpha went, but I can get this one down. There's the alpha. Right there. Come on, come up over the rise here. There you are. Oh, you're tough. Oh, gosh. Oh, I think I just switched guns. Going action points. Give me one shot. That's all I need. Oh, for love. Oh, gosh. Holy crap, my action points were just not coming back. That was really bad. Okay. Stim pack to get that back. And then water, because I'm thirsty. Okay, that was really bad. And we go. What did we pick up? We picked up... Weakness. Take 20% more damage. Okay, but we can't have that. We'll take that, and we'll take that. Oh, wow, we're still parched. Okay, I should not have fought that battle. 
And then I accidentally hit a number and switched my gun mid-combat, which is terrible, because then I couldn't use Vance, because my action points weren't coming back. Oh, my. Okay, we finally made it to Tim Pines Bluff. They have a cooking station. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's talk to this guy here. Oh, let me put the gun away. That's probably a good thing to do. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. It's okay. I'm with the Minutemen. I'm here to help. You're with the Minutemen? We said yeah, yeah, we still exist. The we Minutemen are coming back. Glad to hear it. Oh, no wow. Things have been worse. There's a yes, yes. Right. We know where they're coming from. Yeah, you're going to send me to Corvega. You always Don't do. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, friend. All right. They're going to send us to Corvega. I think when I first walked into the town, I happened to see... Yes... Lucas hey Miller. Best way to spend your caps is protecting your hide. My yeah, you're not wrong. I almost died to a dog. Let's see what you have. Focus on stopping power. Pretty, don't stop bullets. Okay. Let's see. What do I have to give you? Oh, I have 38 rounds. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, and I have the five millimeter. That's a good one. Champion left arm. These. Ooh, see, Mantis Left Grieve as well is Agility and Perception. That's... Oh, I don't want that one. That's Champion. Uh, that one is actually Fortifying. I don't want that. I want I want this one. Whoa. Okay. Apparently, that one is just 16,000 for no well-explained reason. Um, Yeah, no, then I'm not going to buy anything from you because that's... Bit ridiculous. I'm just gonna take your money. Hey, at least it's honest work. Wow, that was stupid. Okay. Having made it to Templine's Bluff, cooking up all of our food, and discovering that Lucas has some really expensive armor, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up for today. Next time we will be heading. Well, you can't really see in this storm, but somewhere around that direction to toward. Lexington and Corv. Actually, it's it's more like in that direction. Somewhere in that direction toward Lexington and Corv. Vega, I hope you all join me for that, and I'll see you next week. Thank you very much, and goodbye. That'll keep him there longer, and I can just keep firing. I'm going to activate my ability, and to just keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. And just like that, Saren goes down.